Of travel? I know it sounds ideal. Still... Are you not sure? Well, Pine Valley is still my home. Excuse me, Mr. Hunter? Oh, this is McConley. Have you received the painting I ordered? Yes, of course. They're in the back. Um, why don't you come with me? I'll show them to you. Talk to you later. All right. Bloomsbury, I'll browse. This way. Here. Thank you for the little piece. You're welcome. This way, please. Well, I warned you, but you wouldn't listen, would you? Ah, uh, eavesdropping again? Ah, uh, it's a public place, Natalie. I warned you if I found you skulking around Jeremy Hunter one more time, you'd answer to me. And I meant it. Erica? You little tramp. I caught you red-handed. Jeremy's an innocent, but I see through you. Oh, I know you, and I know what you're up to. I'm not up to anything. I see you. I saw the two of you together with my own eyes. Cozying up to him, trying to make him believe you're so fragile, you're so vulnerable. Did you get out of my way? Jeremy is in love with my sister now. He's only being nice to you because, well, he feels sorry for you. But you're such a fool. I mean, you don't give up. You're after him again. Don't you understand? You're never going to get the you man. You are making a scene. Oh, really? Well, I thought that you didn't care what people think. Natalie Hunter, Pine Valley's sleaziest man-stealer. Shut up, Erica. It isn't enough that she gets poor Ross Chandler convicted of rape. No, no. She wants everyone to believe her. She wants everyone's sympathy. I said shut up. It doesn't work, Natalie, because you're a liar and everyone knows you're a liar. She lied under oath. Damn you. He confessed. You're a slut, Natalie. And you better stay away from the man my sister loves. <laughs> this, both of you. Oh, you'll pay for that. Oh, dear Everything is all right. Temper's got a little out of hands. That's all. Rosemary, we best be leaving. I think you're right here. Goodbye, Mr. Hunter. Oh, please forgive me. There's a mark on my face. You'll be very sorry. I'm leaving. Natalie. Once a slut, always a slut. How can you do this? Me? Despicable. Unworthy. Don't you care anything about other people's feelings? I don't believe this. That woman physically attacked me, and you're defending her? You're the one who did the attacking. You are so blind. Haven't you learned by now what she is? A victim, Erica, not a provoker. Oh, Jeremy. Well, you have a thing for victims. Have you noticed that? Natalie certainly has. My goodness, she is trying to play this for full advantage. My relationship with Natalie is none of your business. Oh, that's where you're wrong. Anything that concerns my sister is most certainly my business. I am not going to let Natalie do to my sister what she did to me. No, I won't let it happen. I think you'd better leave. Every word I've said is the truth, and you know it, Jeremy. Goodbye, Erica. I'm putting you on notice. I don't care how you feel. But I love my sister. And I just cannot stand by and watch her get hurt. Erica, are you all right? The Jack's here, obviously. I, I'm okay. Hello, Jack. Hi. Where's my precious baby? She's upstairs sleeping. Oh, what happened? Well, I certainly sympathize with you having to deal with that, uh... Little witch, her grasp on reality is extremely thin. I mean, she's really out of her mind. We had a lovely conversation. You saw?